time to think in here. Um, do you think much about your childhood? Is there a particular childhood memory that you think about? The only thing I think about is getting out of here alive. Because at the end of the day, when you get in that yard, and because you've been in a in a confined area and there's nothing for them to do, people get bored. And because I associate with every race, um, a lot of people don't like it. But you know, I ended up getting jumped, stabbed. Um, that's what you think about. You don't worry about no, nothing else. You don't worry about your girlfriends outside. You don't worry about no one outside because in here, you're on your own. You don't trust no one. And you just want to survive and just get out of here, I suppose. That's what you think about. You think about what you want to do when you get out. You, you said if you get out of here, like, are things really that bad? Is it really that dangerous in here? Well, I've been... I've been stabbed and jumped a few times so and then when you go to your cell you think about you know that's locked down at three o'clock when they open that cell door to be released again in the yard you think it's just it's just a jungle out there it's a it's a jungle of the survival really i've been stabbed seven times i've been um split the back of my head over the top of my eyebrow under my chin across my head um so at the end of the day, the weapons they use in here, they just whatever they can use. You know, you can use like um, a sock with um, spaghetti cans in there, and they swing them around like it's a becomes a real pretty lethal weapon. Blades, blades get made out of anything, just any sharp objects. You can just sharpen. You can a toothbrush. You can just sharpen a toothbrush on a concrete. It becomes sharp. Where you know if you get stabbed in the eye, in the back, in the neck. I mean, in here, there's no such thing as one-on-one -on -one fights. Here, you get jumped by three, four, five. So at the end of the day, it's the survival. Yeah, like that's why I say, if I get out of here alive, at the end of the day. You miss fucking what you miss out there. You miss your mum's cooking. That's one. <laughs> What, what do you think will be the first thing that you do when you get out or the first thing you'll eat or the first person you see? The first person or first thing that I'll eat when I get out of here. Um, besides other things, um, <laughs> I will probably eat my mum's cooking, but I'd love a, a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think life's taught you so far? Life in here has taught me a lot of things. It's taught me to be wiser, trust nobody. Um, and when you get out to be more closer to your family, because your family is the only one when you come in here um, that really look at you and look after you. It's, um, <laughs> yes, I have got a job in here. I earn sixty dollars a week. I'm probably one of the highest paid workers in here. Um, Wait, what? What do you need money in here for? Well, to buy things, actually. Like, I mean, you can't buy much. You just to buy food, I suppose, because no one really wants to cook. Um, everyone wants to cook. Sorry, no one wants to eat jail food. Jail food in is that putrid. It's uh, it's um. It looks like fluorescent green. It just actually it glows when you open that food packet. It actually glows. It glow. It actually it's, honestly it glows. Why I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the way they cook it or they put something else in there. I don't know. We got told that um they put some sort of stuff in there to um to stop um sexual enhancing um sort of. I don't know, maybe to stop. Yeah, maybe some sort of hormones, maybe to stop the rapes in here, or I don't know. Is I don't it know. Well, it probably. I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to be 
you know, if you want to have sex in it, that's up to you if you want to have sex in it. <laughs> I mean, there's no, one, there's no one really can stop you from having it in it. They got condoms in it. So at the end of the day, um, oh, the gel, you know, they do, you know, the gel. The gel that you get in the, in the condom packets, they use for their gel for their hair. So when you get when you go on a visit and you see a guys um, that's got gel slicked up in their hair, that's actually lube from the condoms. Do you have any of those sort of things in here? Like what what what, what would you find in yourself? Like what do you have? Well, I've got everything in here. I've got a TV, um, I've got brand new runners. That's a big thing. Um, a microwave, another microwave, sorry, microwave. <laughs> what I microwave? Um, it's a Breville maker, um, my own toaster, I mean, my own little rice cooker. I mean, I got everything in here, a quilt to stay warm at night. Um, what else? Do you have windows? Actually, Bathurst jail was the most worst jail I've ever been to because he's all you've got is four walls, four actual walls nothing else you've got i think three bars are up on top there's no glass there's nothing at the end of the day so when it snows or when it's raining you probably end up getting watering yourself i mean that is probably the worst jail i've ever been to and believe me you do not want to go there that is one putrid cold place where you do not want to go there